but you've got to see it in the context with Angela Rayner. And she didn't mean Tory voters like you. She meant the government, the, to the Tory party. That's what she meant. But you've got to see it in the context. This is a woman who was born in uh, incredible hardship, uh, a very troubled home, who succeeded in life, but she succeeded in part despite the criticism of Tories back then, who would say, oh, people like her would get pregnant at school so they could get a council house. And she now sees that some of the help she subsequently got, like Sure Start Centres, children centres, that she could go along, turn her life around, they're being shut. That's why she speaks from uh, from the heart. Yeah, but it's in that. I was speaking to Lucy Powell yesterday. She's a you know, Manchester MP. She said... You know, that language can defend, yep. is offensive, yep. and that she needs to set it right. And far from doing that today, she's she's, done it. she's, 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 she's done. stoked the fire. I think she knows that this is playing very well with the Labour base, the activists, the party members cheered her when she said it. They're probably still cheering her now. And she, I think she's being incredibly selfish. She's not doing her party uh, uh, focus any good here at all. Uh, it's undermining the leader. But she is. She wants to be the next. She wants to be the first woman leader of the Labour Party. Andrew, before you suffer vertigo on your moral molehill. Think of all those offensive comments you've heard over the years from Boris Johnson about all sorts of people, including gay people, including black people, including Muslim women. Or think of the Tory MP, a very senior Tory MP, who said, let's put a bomb under a Labour shadow cabinet member. Look, he he apologised. He was right, he was right to apologise. Yeah. Angela Rayner should have said, yeah, I should have used different language. She should have apologised in that way. But I understand when she's being taught by her opponents, her Tory opponents, who never criticised Boris Johnson for using incredibly offensive language. She says, well, why should I have to? Why should I have to apologise?